Hey, welcome back, Rankers. Here alone again, because everyone's gone home. You know, first in, last to go home. You know what's like. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit this week about Google finding things and indexing things that you really don't want it to. Uh, and the reason I'm telling you, so I just got off the, uh, have finished a conversation with a new client, and I was explaining to her that, um, you know, she has about nine thousand URLs indexed but she really should only have about 4,300 in URLs indexed because that's what the site maps say. So the, one of the first things, as we've always said, that we try to do is get your index providing, um, sorry, get your site maps, providing your site maps are accurate. Obviously, they have to be accurate first. Matching the actual URLs that Google's actually crawled because we want them to be a very close match. Quite often, and in the case of um, this client, it was parameter URLs that were causing the problem. So. Um, things like uh, Googlebot was going in and crawling, say, uh, sort by price. And you, so you would essentially get the same URL with a different parameter so that the, the content on the page is displayed differently. Now, in the Google Search Console, there is a thing called URL parameters, which you can actually use. We haven't found it to work that well, though, <laughs> at all. Google, and all their best intentions, put this tool in place in Google Search Console so you can tell... Um, Google how you want them to treat the parameters. Uh, and we get these issues mainly with e-commerce sites. The problem with that URL parameter tool is it takes forever, it seems, for Google to acknowledge that we've said, do not index this parameter, which might be, I don't know, print. So it might be a print version of the page, or it might be um, uh, uh, highest to lowest in quantity or volume, whatever it might be. And we've said, don't index that page, but Google still does, even though you've set it up that way in the URL parameter tools. So then you've got to ask yourself, well, is there any real value to the, to the user finding this in search? And the answer is no, because all of those parameters, it's the same content, just sorted differently. You can sort that you can sort as the user however way you want once you're on that page. So there's not a, really a lot of benefit um, for those duplicate URLs to be found in search in any way, shape or form. So what I tend to do, and it depends once again on the site and the client, is that I will tend to, uh, in some cases, just no index and follow because you might want Google to go and follow those URLs. Although we've had one recently where there are so many of these different parameters that we've just said no follow all those parameter links because uh, the bot was just spending too much time crawling all these different links. So we've said no follow. Haven't robots.txt though. The problem is if you robots.txt, um, that can be not great because it can, sh it can show your index count going up through the roof all of a sudden uh, because Google will just find the URL and not crawl it, but it will find it. The other thing about robots.txt is Google's about the only robot out there that's probably going to obey it, you know, or well, the other search engines as well. But most search engines, uh, you know, pricing, comparison, shopping engines, all those sorts of search engines out there, all those sorts of scraping tools out there, they don't acknowledge the robots.txt. Here's a search that I've done earlier that you can check to start to find things that might be on your site that you don't want. And this can include things like PDFs, for instance. You don't want them crawled. Maybe you've got some PDFs, but you don't want them indexed. Maybe you've got a PDF version of every page of your site. If you're running an old Joomla site, you might have that. Uh, so this is an easy way to find it. So all I've done here, as I've said, site colon gov.au. So I'm saying show me gov Australian government websites. And I've said only show me Excel files, okay? So I just want to have a look at Excel files that's sitting up on Australian government websites. Now, the last time I did this about five years ago, I found a spreadsheet on asio.gov.au, which is our secret intelligence organization, uh, with a list of known terrorists and their last known whereabouts. I don't know if it was meant to be public. I couldn't find the source of why it was there, but just by doing a Google search, I found it. I've also found previously 
you know, this is many years ago now, but the uh, I found a, a list of usernames and passwords for one of Australia's largest IT organisations, something with thousands, and did a story about that years ago. So doing this search can uncover some things that you may want to know about your site. So in this case, I've said, don't show me any results from vic.gov.au, nsw.gov. These are just the other states for those of you um, in Australia. So uh, the way that Australian domain government domains work is that you would have gov.au, then you would have the state, and then you might have a council you know, past that. So uh, in here, that will bring you back all the XLL files. And you'd be XLL file, XL files. Um, and you can do that. You can make that .txt, if you make that .txt, found a couple of interesting things, like this one is a Excel file, and this is the Road Tra Traffic Authority, and it is uh, information about um, traffic volumes across the various states, and you can see here we've got um, every state, and I live in Victoria. So if we go down over here and we see, it gives us all this information. Oh yes, here it is. What's this one down here? Uh, there was one here where it says, do you wish to have this data made available to external users? Oh, yes, external users. Uh, and then we go, not being the other means other than our own. Dissemination mechanisms at this stage. Well, I've got it, right? So they obviously didn't want that up on the website and for Google to find, which it has. Uh, here's another one. This is um, uh, Department of Defense government grants. And you can see here, I've, I've actually put this little um, sum equals here because I just want to see what the entire number was. So this was government grants as of uh, July 1 uh, for the Defense Department. And you can see there's $127 million in grants and you can see here there's 107 million dollars allocated to the afghan national army trust fund our foreign minister says it was going to be 80 million i don't know why it's 107 i don't follow politics they annoy me all of them um but you know you can have all that and there's the full list of all you know so you can see that the pakapanyal junior football and netball club got two thousand dollars and the afghan national army got $107 million, all right? So stuff like that. Uh, probably, you probably don't want it getting Googled. So you might find, and you can do the same with uh, text files as well. You can say, show me uh, text files, because quite often um, stuff can be left around on text files. You might have installed a plugin or something, and maybe it's got a readme.txt file sitting in the same directory or something, and Google finds it. You don't want that sort of stuff happening. Um, and you can see here, we've got a whole heap of stuff here. Uh, and one of the files that we found was this one. Um, this is the, this is the court schedule for tomorrow in South Australia. So there you go. So we can find out what's happening in the county court, I think it was. Oh no, Supreme Court. This is what's happening in the Supreme Court tomorrow. It's probably public knowledge, but this is probably also duplicate content. So you probably don't want it up there. I don't know if it's public knowledge at all, but the corporation of the city of Adelaide is going up against India Proprietary Limited tomorrow, by the looks of it. Anyway, so there's a lot going on there. So the... Um, don't have anything sitting on your web server that you don't want the whole world to know about. That's the story. PDFs, uh, other text files can represent duplications of already existing content. So you don't want them up there either. Hopefully that's helpful and we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.